My name is Erika Tatiana Camacho. I'm a Fulbright Scholar in France. I'm actually a Fulbright of France in um, the Vision Institute of Paris and Sorbonne. And I came here to do training and learn about experimental part of the modeling of the models that have been created. For the last uh, 15 years, I've been doing mathematical models. By training, I'm an applied mathematician. The focus has been mainly on at the a cell level kind of models. But in the last five years, I started to do models that deal more with the molecular level inside the photoreceptors, and mainly focusing on um, glycolysis. So photoreceptors uh, metabolize glucose through, through aerobic glycolysis, just like cancer cells, except they do it in an organized manner. Why here in Paris? Because the Vision Institute is the best, is one of the best institutes in the world where they do vision research and work. The, um, next, in the next building is actually the, uh, a hospital, and it's a hospital with patients that actually uh, the researchers here are working with. So they're also working with this translational research where they're re actually um, looking at a specific um, ways to treat certain uh, degenerative diseases of the eye and restore vision. One of the goals of the Fulbright was to come here to learn how to do experimental work that will give me more insight and they will help inform the models so I could do models that are more robust more realistic and more able to be able to predict and really understanding the process of uh, experimentation and why certain kind of um, components are considered and why some are not. And um, it's been a valuable experience. I mean, I, I learned that uh, in experimental science, from the beginning, you have to be very uh, thoughtful in planning because everything, when you come to the bench, every step has to already be planned. And even in Excel sheet, the amounts that you would need. And there's many steps, um, many times in a paper, you see this final product, this final beautiful picture, selling, uh, showing the cell body or showing some kind of a protein that has been identified. But you don't realize that to get there, it took a lot of steps. When I come back to the US, um, I would be actually having a lab. My university has agreed to give me a lab so that I could lead this kind of research and be able to do a joint um, wet lab and dry lab where um, students, as well as myself, can do both the experimental part, but also do the mathematical modeling, where the experiments will guide the model development, and the model will guide the experiments as well. So, and they'll be done in, in parallel. And I wouldn't have been able to do this without the Fulbright uh, France scholarship that I received, and with the opportunity to come here and really learn about experimental science and understand what it takes, not just to do the experiments, but also to be able to connect with different uh, scientists and principal investigators that lead their teams. Um, here in the Vision Institute, there's many investigators and they're actually quite very well known and they're also very bright and they have a lot of ideas. So now I have that network of collaborations and relationships that have been formed where uh, hopefully there could be uh, this exchange of knowledge in both directions where I continue to learn. I could also contribute to some of their work here in France and also where they could also contribute to some of the work that we're doing in the United States. So um, it has been an incredible experience. I cannot underestimate what I've learned and what I've grown in the last uh, nine months. I've been here for nine months because initially I did part of my, the Fulbright was combined with my um, sabbatical and then I had six months of Fulbright to really take it the whole way and be able to be better prepared and be able to learn. So, and not only learn about the science, but also immerse myself in the culture and learn about the different uh, communities within Paris and about their culture and just really uh, understand things in a more deep way.